Since its establishment, Ajib has become a leading intellectual property firm in the world. And during the past few years, it has been expanding to new territories and opening offices in new jurisdictions, particularly in African and Asian countries. Why do you focus on these two continents and what potential do you see there? Well, you, you have to decide whether you are a local firm, a regional firm, or a global firm. When we started from the very first day, my decision that was that we want to build a global firm, a global firm. And that was in 1972. And for five years, we were borrowing money and investing in the future. Because we didn't want to start to make money as a local firm or as a regional firm. Because we were laying down the foundations of a global organization. But of course, you have to start small and grow. And you grow in size locally, regionally, and globally. So we started of, to begin with as a small office in Kuwait. And I thank the, the support and the great patronage I had from the Kuwaiti government. And then we spread regionally to the Gulf countries, the GCC countries, whom we, who are to us the backbone and who helped us with the, the power and the resources to become larger and larger. Then we decided to go regional in all the countries of surrounding the Arab world. Subsequently, to the leading countries of the world, the US, of course, with whom we started. I started the first business protection of a particular IP1 right with the US. And until today, we consider the US as our main client, the country, the whole country to us is, a great, uh, of, is of great importance. But we didn't expand offices-wise only. We were expanding both geographically and by, by, by service. In this knowledge age, you don't need to have offices. You can work all over the world through agents. But we decided that now that we want to be global, we don't want to be just global. We want to be global and national. We want to be in every country that we operate with or in to have our national presence. So our offices all over the world, 100 of them, are operated by nationals in these countries as national companies and as uh, companies that uh, have their loyalty and allegiance to the countries they work in. So the concept of this organization is completely different from all our competitors who focus on being great and major wonderful operators, but in a particular country or a particular office. We decided that these great partners we work with all over the world, they need one firm that can serve them in every country in the world. So they don't have the problem of dealing with 20, 30 agents all over the world. With Ajib Abu Ghazala Intellectual Property, you can, any IP owner can serve the world with one email, with one shot. And in many cases, you don't even need to have an email. Many of our clients have passwords so that they can access their own accounts leave their instructions in real time and get uh, what they want um, of information or as, and leave what they want as instructions. This is a new concept of a firm, a firm of the knowledge world. We are a firm that believes with this knowledge revolution, intellectual property operations should become knowledge-based 
And uh, therefore, we have to be present everywhere in the world. And we have to be present like any national company, as if we are a national company. In Saudi Arabia, we are Saudis. In Egypt, we are Egyptians. In every country in the world, we are a national company. This is the concept. And we, this makes us truly um, um, global, but at the same time with a national dedication. And therefore, we can combine the advantage of being a national company and a global company. Talal Abu Ghazali Intellectual Property prides in having the best clients and the most important clients in the world, but as well it prides in serving the small and the startups of the world. We are here to promote intellectual property protection. I have, am honored that I have served on the committee of experts of the World Intellectual Property Organization and on the board of experts of the World Trade Organization and have been instrumental in the development of the intellectual property business globally. So we are not just an organ a company that serves intellectual property. We have a dedication and a mission to make intellectual property an industry that helps the development of countries as, the de as a development agent. So we always look at intellectual property as a development agent and that the stricter laws that exist anywhere are the better for the country. Protection, intellectual property is not, a, as some people misunderstand it, as a, a monopolistic thing. It is not the mon because of the monopoly, because when you invent, you invent for everybody to begin with. So it is not a monopoly. And any invention becomes useful only if it spreads all over the world. And secondly, because it is through intellectual property that the development process globally escalates, develops, and gets more momentum. So we are, at the same time, a development agent and not just a protection agent.